Hey guys, it's Erica. We're going to be checking out J Park's Ganna Dada featuring IU. I'm very excited for his collaboration. Very interesting. And I was like, when because I'm behind. So, like, after this song came out, it was revealed that they had this in the bank for like three years. And how dare they withhold this song for me from three years? But it goes to show probably like a lot of um, collaborations that a lot of music does go unreleased from like artists. Um, so like, you don't just make a song and you put it out right away. Like, we, we, there's processes to stuff. It's sort of like assembly movies don't just get made in a week. Like, they take years to write and then probably more time to even pitch and get funding for movies and then shooting's a whole thing and then editing pro- it's a thing. Um, so like, art doesn't get created overnight if you- I mean, some does. Girl, some does, but not all the time. Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, I don't exactly remember the reason why they decided to release it now. Um, but this is his first release under more vision, I believe, and stuff. Um, he's on God from AMG High Music. Um, and he's just not CEO of them anymore. And he has a new company, um, which everybody just got multiple companies these days. It just seems that way. Um, but diff different intentions for different labels. And so you can definitely even see that with AMG and higher music. Uh, but I'm very excited to be checking this out. This is like five minutes and I'm probably talking way too long about this. So, you know, let's just get into it. I do have subtitles on. Oh, low behind the scenes. Okay. Oh, this is a little bit further. Uh, schedule? That makes sense. But three years? I mean, I always a busy guy. And then he's busy as well. <laughs> this does seem like stage, but it is, it's fun. Because I don't think I've ever seen him do this in a music video. I mean, the phone call could be genuine. Oh, does she hang up on him? <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. That's fun. It's a fun jacket, too. Oh, okay. Oh, you're behind the scenes of the video. Okay. It's a very interesting side because he doesn't have. Oh, that was a nice transition to go from like behind the scenes to the actual camera itself. Oh, they changed the lighting like that? Oh, wait, did the set change? That looks like a set change, but colors. That's a problem. Sometimes when I throw subtitles on, I don't read them. Because I'm like, this choreography is kind of something new, a little choreography wise. Is Ayu coming to set? I mean, she's in the thumbnail, so spoiler alert. In the middle. Hey, yo, stop. That wasn't even like a clear, like, cut. And I feel like <laughs> this is kind of funny because I feel like there's a situation where he has featuring artists and they haven't been in the video. <laughs> Oh my god. And <laughs> <laughs> they made the mouth. <laughs> that was pretty good. This is pretty good stuff. 
Oh, the cutout, yes. I think the cutout was probably better than the mannequin. Oh no! Her feature's great too as well, I like this. I like her R&B stuff. Anyways. <laughs> B-boy to the chill song, of course. Could've been lighting that change of set, but it looked like the set could change colors. I don't know. What do I know about production? Don't walk over the dolly track, I know that much. Block the color. Oh, he's crying. Oh, the reveal was so good for Ayu. Oh, no, I guess it makes sense why it changed the purple, because purple is her color, too, so that's a nice addition to see. Oh, confetti. Oh, they're happy because I used to. At least for the whole section she did it, they like put her in the entire section to make her showing up worth it. It's also kind of funny that they don't get like a post outro sort of thing. Um, but that was very funny because for me, I work in um, video production, television, movies and stuff. So it's like, the situ I've never been in a situation. I have where like crew members haven't showed up and like what do you do um and you sort of just have to roll with it but I've never been in a situation where like somebody didn't show up like people late yeah for sure um but it's kind of funny <laughs> that like this probably would like never happen like you're warned of all those kind of situations beforehand um if there's a scheduling conflict or somebody's not showing up or you would at least hope i because i've never personally been in that situation but that's not to say it hasn't happened but it's sort of funny how they do play with it and even the sort of like behind the scenes um almost kind of documentary as footage for some of it um it was kind of funny and that was very very well done it felt very genuine and like authentic to where at least in the beginning i was just like oh it's it's just legit like behind the scenes footage i was like oh wait are they are they acting? Are they playing around? So that was just like very good for like everybody involved and sort of get the behind the scenes sort of sort of thing how they're just like, oh, we're gonna get a CGI, the sort of we, me looking character sort of IU or get a mannequin or like her cutout. Like we can figure it out. We can figure out something. Oh, I guess they have been in a situation where someone didn't show up that was background and they were sitting behind the actor who, and they were on camera like you would have seen this part of them and so like it was like a one or two hour delay in filming which was horrible of trying to find someone that looks like this person and they found someone where that could like sort of hide the fact of them um because stand-ins are also like a thing so in every single scene it's probably not even the actor it could be a stand-in for some stuff um but definitely like for that scene and then it was just like running around trying to find this person like oh like they couldn't even find the, per the person wasn't even there um didn't even show up that day um and then like and then it was just like finding someone that looks like him and then finding like the shirt for that was like a whole other thing so it was a mess that day but it was just a mess on set for that show anyways um so like yeah it, it it would be a lot more stressful than that, a lot more scrambling around. Um, and you would definitely, it would definitely go through multiple channels and not directly through himself of being just like, oh yeah, she told me she was going to be here. Um, you know, sort of thing. And again, I do like how when she did show up <laughs> for the video, I mean, it does seem like something I would agree to, like concept wise for the music video. Um, that like when she was there, she was on the screen the entire time until the song ended. Um, for the sort of last part of it, not for her verse, but for the last part of it. Um, and that was just kind of fun and very silly and stuff. But I do like how the set did change to purple, which is like IU's color. Like that's what, like, think of IU, I think of purple, you know what I mean? There's many occasions of this. Um, so it's nice to see that effort made production wise, whether it was a coincidence or intentional. Um, I'm sure it was intentional, um, especially since she is wearing purple. Um, it, it's nice to sort of get that extra sort of layering into the physical 
into like the presence of the artist within the video itself it's not just showing up like what's up you know what i mean even though kind of a, that's what it looks like there at the end you know what i mean there, there is more effort put behind it um so it was fun it was a fun little edit it was fun it was silly i can't recall a time where j park has done a video kind of to this sort of level it does very much seem within his within his humor based on stuff he's on on like korea and uh snl korea and other stuff like that so like it makes sense for like the humor part of it um and w why they went there but i don't recall ever seeing it specifically in a video so that's also fun it's also something very different in that aspect but yeah i really enjoyed it i think the song was great it was well written i like i use r&b stuff like solo wise that she does r&b stuff so having her hop on this type of song um i felt very nice and she kills everything she does um, I mean, she has features sometimes, every now and again, you know, but again, she's a busy gal, as we can tell, as we can see, so scheduling can be hard and difficult for her. I mean, so, yeah, but, um, I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed her feature. I like how she's sort of woven into the song more than just having a verse, you know what I mean? And I liked the video. I thought it was funny. I thought it was silly, because it's funny, because in my perspective of what my job is, um, because this doesn't pay the bills, um, doesn't pay anything, um, so, like, it is funny to see that sort of... <laughs> behind the scenes sort of scenario that would normally be like the most stressful thing you could ever go through um but like for this one it was fun and it was silly and it was it was nice it was it's sort of like refreshing <laughs> you know, to get something like this that for at least with my experience was not stressful even though with the situation i described that i was when i was on set of that happening i wasn't directly involved in that situation and did not directly how to solve that situation personally um because i was first team pa um so yeah but, and that was different than dealing with background pa um the dealing with background as a back is being assigned like background pa um if i was background pa it would probably be a lot more stressful um but i was dealing with my own stresses girl let me tell you this is not um stories from film sets with Erica. This is J Park Ganadara featuring IU music video reactions. So go to put your thoughts and comments down below what you thought about the video, the song. Um, did you find it silly? Or am I the only person that find it found it humorous because I know what it's like to go through that? Um, your thoughts comments down below. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or description down below or at the end screen. Shows video your friends thank you guys so much for watching love you and i'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs>